shopping one cent to six dollars six cents a gallon. Oh, we're almost under that six dollar mark. Elon Musk says he wants out of an agreement to buy Twitter, but Musk could face a one billion dollar penalty for pulling out of the deal. Tech journalist Chris Sokol Walker says Musk took the company on a roller coaster ride it may take a while to recover from. This is a huge issue for Twitter because they have had their CEO basically drive through the mud by Elon Musk. You know, Musk has proven to say that he's not actually sure. Employees have been leaving Twitter because of the bruising encounter with Musk. A new study says regular fasting may help reduce COVID-19 severity. The results published in the BMJ Medical Journal for Nutrition and Health say people who fasted at least once a month had lower hospitalizations and deaths from the virus. Amber Heard has been sued by her insurance company over her $8.3 million in losses to ex-husband Johnny Depp. The company says the actress's policy doesn't cover the willful misconduct that she was found liable for. And a man in Florida has been accused of killing his daughter's three dogs because he left them in a hot car for a few days while she was out of town. Authorities say the daughter left plenty of food and water for her dogs before she left, but when she came back, her father led her to a car, opened the door, and that's where the dogs were. He's been arrested on charges of animal cruelty. We'll get a look at your drive on the 405 right after Sports with Wayne. Having rallied from being down by five to the Cubs at more than one point in the game, the Dodgers' Freddie Freeman in the sixth opted for some insurance. Freeman, a little shot to left center field. Morrell going back. He's at the wall. He looks up, and Freeman hits it out. And the Dodgers now have themselves a 10-8 lead. LA stayed ahead for the rest of the game, winning by a score of 11-9. And the boys of blue are off today ahead of a road series against the St. Louis Cardinals starting tomorrow. The Angels fell by a score of 9-5 to five to the Baltimore Orioles, who swept the Halos in the series. They also are off today. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. SoCal weather from KFI. We've got another sunny day ahead. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s to low 70s at the beaches. We'll be in the upper 70s, low 80s for Orange County and Metro LA. But it will be in the 90s to right around 100 for the whole week in the valleys and the IE. Jeff Fogg, good morning to you. What's up on the 405? Well, thanks very much, Jennifer. And thank you, and uh, welcome back, Mr. Handel. <laughs> South 405 hasn't changed a bit, that's for sure. Good morning to you now for coming down from the 118. It's real busy now. Everybody's going to work today. Uh, there is a problem. Or we just came out of the top of the hill there. There's a problem just past the Valley Vista on ramp. It's over to the shoulder. I think that was in length and added to this phone. That's what it's all about. But you'll see up to the top of the hill, you're good. When you start going downhill, boy, we got that marine layer. Again, most of the basin is covered. You're going to go right under it when you get down there, but I think it's a pretty good drive. Northbound looks pretty good. Right now, we just turned east over the 101. Things are looking good here. Everybody's moving. That's good for a, a first report, that's for sure. Things are a little busy around downtown Los Angeles, especially the East LA interchange. East LA interchange. We'll check on that brand new six feet bridge as soon as we get down there. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it. Jeff Rock, AFI in the sky. Do you ever feel like some service companies just treat you like a number? Like all they really want to do is get in your checkbook? At Service Champions Plumbing, Heating, and AC, we're not looking for customers. We prefer to make friends. That's why we show up on time with clean trucks and uniforms and with a smile on our face. We'll treat your home and property with respect and clean up after ourselves just like you would at a friend's house. If you need us to help with anything around the house, we're more than happy to do a good deed for free. At the end of the day, we only expect you to pay if you absolutely loved our service. At Service Champions, we don't find customers, we make friends. Call Service Champions today and schedule an $88 precision tune-up. Our number is 833-777-7777 or find us online at servicechampions.com. For all, it's such an amazing break to the Pledge of Allegiance. We've been saying it since we were little kids. I'm Susan Owen, managing partner at Owen Patterson and Owen. If you've been injured, call Owen Patterson and Owen, 888-OPO-WIN, OPOLaw.com. Baseball's biggest stars are headed to Los Angeles for MLB All-Star Week 2022. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Game on the action at Capital One Play Ball Park at MLB Live in DC, LA from July 16th to the 19th. It's the ultimate fan experience for the entire family. 
Come down to the LA Convention Center and enjoy the food, play interactive games, and connect with big leaguers and legends. For tickets and more All-Star information, go to allstargame.com today. Go! Home prices and home equity are at all-time highs, but that won't last forever. Before the Fed hikes rates again, and they said they will, convert your home equity to cash, pay off high interest debt, or create a safety net for the unexpected with a strong home equity loan, HELOC, or cash-out refi. And Strong Home Mortgage can close in as little as 21 days. Call 1-800-CASH-OUT or visit 1-800-CASH-OUT.COM. 1-800-CASH-OUT. Your equity unleashed. Strong Home Mortgage LLC, NMLS number 1675638. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California financing law license regulated by DFBI. Loans subject to qualification equal housing lender. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Jacoby and Myers has the size, experience, and strength you need to level the playing field with even the largest insurance companies. And because we are big, so are the settlements we win, often up to 10 times the original insurance company offer. Maybe that's why Jacoby and Myers has been voted the number one personal injury law firm in Los Angeles for the past three years. Choose 10 times better. Call Jacoby Myers at 800-992-2222. The job market is competitive right now, so you need to be competitive to attract top talent. If you're trying to fill open positions in your business, iHeartMedia is here to help. Use radio and digital targeting to find fresh, passive candidates currently in the workforce. These candidates are listening right now, looking for new opportunities. Together, we can let the community know you're hiring. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. For official rules and more information about contacts on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. Yeah, and welcome back. Bill Handel here in uh, the morning crew. Say hi, AM 640 and back. Coming up at uh, 7 o'clock, I'm going to share with you some uh, experiences that I have. Maybe some insights that I got talking to folks in uh, Europe about what's going on here and what your friends think of us, especially in light of the July 4th shoot uh, that happened. Uh, and here's a little hint, by the way. Um, wasn't even particularly carried in Europe. No, no, yeah, another massacre. Really? Yeah, paid size. You know, right under a uh, real problem with the pecaroni cheese uh, supply this year. Yeah, we that. All right, back we go. More handle on the news, Jennifer Wayne and me. Well, the mayor of Rivalde, Texas, is disputing some findings in a report that came out about the incident there. Uh, specifically, the part of the report that says a Rivalde officer had an opportunity to shoot the gunman, uh, but didn't because he didn't get a response from a supervisor for permission to shoot. The mayor said that's not what happened at all. Nobody ever saw the gunman before he got into the school. That what a cop did see was, I think it was either a, a coach with some kids or something innocuous like that. Here's the thing, though. Please don't believe the mayor of Uvalde, Texas, because the report that he's trying to trash was done by the Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Team at Texas State University. This is all they do all the time. I read it. It is impeccably sourced. It is based on body cam footage, surveillance footage, and interviews with officers. So who are you going? Plus, they don't have a stake in what they found. They, it doesn't matter to them if they find good things or bad things, but it certainly matters to the mayor of Uvalde. And it, it, hasn't it just struck you both so interesting that to watch a mayor uh, be so defensive, it, it seems like he would be the guy who all who would just, it would be so easy for him to come out and say, I just want to get to the bottom of this. I want every piece of information I can possibly get so that we can find out what went wrong that day. He would look like the man of the people, you know? He would look like... I'm willing to see if there were problems within my department, but I, for you, the families, want to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Instead of drawing a line in the sand like that, just seems counterproductive if you're supposed to be the mayor representing every person in the city. Everybody at the local level is imploding. 
Yeah. Well, over this incident. All right. Uh, so the Justice Department is really looking into this investigation now of Randy Richard Randy Cox. This is out of Connecticut. He was taken into custody by cops in New Haven, and apparently he was paralyzed while he was in custody. He was in the back of a police van that was not equipped with seatbelts. He got injured when the driver of the van, a police officer, braked suddenly to avoid a collision. And so now they're looking into new policies aimed at enhancing the safety protocols during transportation and detention of people. Oh, yeah. so meaning adding seatbelts yeah, to like the van? That would stop using those people? Or, right. or just using them if they are in the backs of these vans. Yeah. The story is that um, uh, the cop threw on the brakes, uh, yeah. Cox was thrown forward, yeah. uh, hit his head on the front of uh, the truck and became paralyzed, and even worse than that. I mean, you're looking at video, uh, uh, cops are being, you know, he, he says, I can't walk, I can't, I can't move. And it looks like the cops are being so, uh, it, it just, not even caring a little bit. I mean, that's what the story is telling us. The cops said, get up, uh, they dragged him, they I know. dragged him by his feet and threw him in a wheelchair, which he might not have been completely paralyzed yeah. before they did that. Yeah, this is a tough one. I don't know where the defense comes on this one. I truly don't. Uh, closer to home over the weekend, Long Beach police officer shot and killed a man who was uh, waving a gun while standing on a rooftop. They did try the uh, less-than-lethal foam projectile. He didn't comply. And then they say he pointed the gun at officers. They started firing back. And then he still, he didn't die instantly because he still, they say, was kind of manipulating the gun in his hand. Then they were able to get up on the roof and try to give him some medical help. And then they found out that prior to being on that roof, he'd assaulted someone and attempted a carjacking. Yeah, so that's going to be a, obviously a, a procedural uh, shooting. I mean, there's a, no one's going to argue with that one. I don't think so, man. Yeah. You know, also, you have to understand, those, those marshmallow bullets, the foam projectile? Yeah, yeah. They have to sort of redesign those to be a little bit tougher. They're pretty. They're pretty. Have you ever been hit with one? I mean, so yeah, that marshmallow is thrown at me. They're not bad. No. No, they're not marshmallows. <laughs> they're not marshmallows. <laughs> All right. Bruce Davis, he was a Manson follower. And at his parole hearing in 2014, he even admitted, I wanted to be Charlie's favorite guy. Bruce Davis helped to kill musician Gary Hinman and stuntman Donald Shorty Shea in 1969. And now he has been recommended for parole seven times, but on Friday he was denied parole again. He'll never be paroled. No. He'll die in prison. All those Manson followers will die in prison. Every one of them. I mean, the political fallout by allowing the parole of one of these people is so great there's no upside for a governor to ever let any of these guys out. Newsom, one of the most liberal governors we've ever had. No, thank you. Not going to happen. Don't care what, I don't care what the parole board says. The parole board isn't particularly a political animal. No one is elected to the parole board. You don't run for election, so they can be objective. Well, I uh, say this guy is no longer a threat. Yeah, for 50 years in jail. And he, uh, what, what kind of a threat is he going to be? Sure, let him out on parole. Uh, no, ain't gonna happen. Well, here it's not even up to Newsom because here the board itself said that no. Right. What, what even though seven times previously they said yes, they said yes, and then the governor blocked it. Right. But this guy's 80 or 79. Yeah. So again, does the age factor into anything when it comes to your parole? Yes. Yeah. That's what I think. But just not with a man. Not with a man. But age being, being 79 doesn't weigh as much as having years ago been in the thrall of a Charles Manson. That is and correct. to be Charlie's favorite guy. Let's take a break. Uh, we'll come back and we'll finish up by handle on the news on this uh, Monday morning. Let's check in with Jennifer live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Ukraine's defense minister says deployment of the U.S. long-range rocket systems has been a game-changer in the country's war against Russia. One of the nation's biggest baby formula manufacturers says it's reopened its plant in southern Michigan. Abbott announced that over the weekend. And Secretary of State Blinken stopped in Tokyo today to pay respects and condolences after the assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. We'll get a look at your drive on the side in just a moment. If you're looking to uh, bail out of your house, okay, it's time to sell. It doesn't matter whatever reason, moving, downsizing. 
So usually you hire a real estate broker, and you're told to clean and paint, repair. Uh, you get to pay 6% of the sales price. So let's eliminate all of that. How about selling your home for a fair price with no one walking through your house without paying the 6%, living like a slob, don't have to pay, uh, paint, that's directbuyers.com, and get paid in cash within 10 days or less. Directbuyers.com. They'll give you an honest, no obligation offer, even a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with the move, and they'll never, ever lowball you. Uh, that's directbuyers.com. I love the way they do business. Go to directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, visit directbuyers.com. From the driveway.com weather center, we've got a sunny day ahead with highs from the upper 60s to the low 100. This report is brought to you by Arco, quality top tier gas for less, now with a credit card. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. This time we're going to the 5. We've got to have the 5 coming out of the uh, new hall pass here. Things are looking pretty good. There's a couple of things I want to warn you about. First, uh, coming uh, downhill now on uh, uh, South 5 towards the 4055 five split. If you choose the 405, there's a lot of dirt coming up for it. Actually, it looks like a fire, uh, but it's not. It's just dirt. They're working in the yard there, so uh, don't be concerned. All lanes are open. Uh, no problem. If you choose the South Five now, from that split, a little bit past the 118, right around that high solar bird, there's a lot of activity over to the solar. It's a busy spot. Uh, of course, you have the transition from the 118 to the 5. So just be careful. But the driving pretty good. Lots of lanes straight all the way down to the 1. Ready to try on to show the show.
Mars resources. Disney Frozen. Oh, sorry. Hey, sorry. 